Good stuff, isn't it? Good stuff. Oh, there we go. Mm, dig in, dig in, dig in. ka -chow. Okay guys, so uh, right now I'm back at the Action Robo shop here in Yamate. So basically they just had a message on their Facebook said that they got the Bumblebee, or you can see the YS, okay, the YS01, which is the uh, the Wasp, right? The Wasp Hornet, I believe the name is correct. I could be wrong, but anyways, you guys can see they actually have it here in stock right over here, guys. So if you guys are checking it out and you guys are here in Hong Kong, you definitely want to come over here and grab them because they're probably in limited supply. So anyways, I'm here tonight. I'm going to go ahead and grab mine. Most of you guys probably have gotten your pre-order, which is fine. But, you know, definitely I was, you know, pretty, I was pretty stoked to see this figure. They actually got this on display right behind me right here. If you guys can take a look, they've got the display right there and you can see Okay, he's strutting his huge hammer. He's got his, like, battle shield, you know, his hand, his helmet. He's got his armor. I mean, he's looking good, guys. He's looking good. So, in a very short time, guys, you're going to definitely see that I'm going to get a review. So, I'm going to go ahead and pick mine up. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Got it right there. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. Bye -bye. So, I'm going to get mine, and we're going to bring it back. And we're gonna go ahead and take a look what this figure is all about. One. Hey, what's up, YouTube? My name's Mr. Stan, coming back at you with another review on Spot. Right now, guys, I got a ton of other things that you guys have not seen yet, and I am so stoked to get them out to you guys. But I'm gonna go ahead and start with this guy right here. As you guys had saw, I had actually picked this up just not too long ago. This is another version of Bumblebee. A third-party company has done it. The third-party company is called Interstellar. And you guys can see from the box art, this guy looks menacing. This is one of the bumblebees that you guys would be thinking about. My goodness, I think I'm gonna get this bee in my home, make him transformed, and then he's just gonna be sitting there looking high and mighty. Large, seven levels of luxury on the Upper East Side. Now, they call this version the Wasp Tiger. That's right, the Wasp Tiger. <laughs> Obviously, okay, there's a reason why they call the tiger part, and you guys will see that soon if, if you haven't actually seen it already within the prototypes, guys. So we're gonna go straight into the unboxing, guys, because I can't wait to get this guy open. Seriously, I mean, now these variations are just too cool, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and start from the top, and we're gonna go ahead and peel off the tape. It's out just like that. Here we go. All right, fantastic. Guys, check it out. Look at that, he comes right there in that plastic casing right there. I mean, oh my goodness, I am just so thrilled because look, not only that, you can already tell from the side. On his shoulder, he's got a, you know, he's got a, he's got a tiger sitting, a tiger's head sitting on his shoulder so you guys can already figure out what this guy is going to transform into. And I am so stoked about the transformation myself, so I am definitely, you know, all about this and we're going to see what this guy is about very soon. So you want to know how much this guy cost? He cost roughly... 360 Hong Kong dollars. So I paid roughly about 47 US bucks for this guy, which is, I think, average if you're looking at it. It's not considered super cheap for what we can get. I don't know how much they're gonna sell at retail rides online, okay, for you guys, but you know, 47 US bucks right now is what I paid for. Obviously, it's no shipping because I just bought it out of the shop, guys. This is what this show is all about. It's about going to the shops and picking the stuff up right then and there. No pre order, nothing. You pick it up right there, you see it, and that's it, it's in your hand. Bye bye, no questions asked, right? So, any case, all right, guys, I'm gonna get some close up shots and you guys are gonna see it very soon. All right, guys, so when you do unbox it, it looks exactly like this in the packaging. As you guys can see, there he is already in robot form. And of course, you can see his accessories. This, of course, is gonna be his staff, and these two parts are gonna form that awesome looking hammer that you see on the front box art. Also, not to mention, you can already take a look, he's already got his battle helmet right there ready for of course he's ready for assault mode right there pretty much as we see him all the time in the movies wherever he goes into fighting mode he has to flip his faceplate down that's correct and let's go ahead and we'll pull the top off so we can get a closer look all right and we're gonna go ahead and pull this figure out gently like this okay wow guys have a look at this. Oh my goodness. Like, for what it's worth, I mean, the detailing, I mean, the detailing on this guy is really immaculate. You can see his eyes right there. There is the tiger's eyes. Of course, you know, they might have actually added maybe some chrome right there in the mouth would be nice. But already, I think that it's a stunning job for this figure in particular. Then we can look around the side. You can take a look at his shoulder areas. 
okay a little bit of gaps on the front on the top but you know okay still all right still all right but i think overall again this guy is you know quite nice to look at and of course he looks definitely very articulate i'm sure this guy has probably a very good articulation for good posability so there he is and you can still see reminiscence of the car mode from the front just looking at the front of him right there all right guys now it's time to pull out his accessories so here you can see here's his staff slash tail you guys can take a look and these right here okay are going to attach to the tail or the staff and they're going to form a giant hammer which which what you see on the box art now these are actually acting as well as thrusters which i'll get to in a moment these actually attach to the rear to become thrusters for his back but let's go ahead and form the hammer first so first you're going to pick one inside like that okay and then you're going to go ahead and pick the other just like this and there you have it. That simple. There is his hammer. He's going to have hammer action right there. Pegs right in his hand, just like so. So we're going to go ahead and peg that inside and close his fist. And there it is, guys. There's his hammer. He's definitely going to, you know, bring down the justice on that side. So that is definitely what I also like about this figure. I just love that little hammer look to it. And I also found one more, okay, gimmick for this hammer besides, you know, being its tail this actually can become a blaster this is something that i think other reviewers actually m did miss I, I could be wrong but i saw in other videos that they didn't know that or didn't bother to point out that there is an actual handle right here so when you put the handle out this actually actually forms a type of blaster so you again likewise you can peg that inside have it like this so not only does it become a hammer but he's also got a elongated okay blaster of course it doesn't look that right i would prefer the hammer look myself but just in case you know you guys are wondering it can also become a blaster as well now the other part of it is when you do separate okay when we do separate the pieces and we take the tail part right here this can actually attach to okay right here us upper shoulder so you can just peg that inside there you go yeah this this tail can actually swivel this is almost kind of like a whip like type of feature you know that bumblebee can have which is actually quite cool if you ask me so if you want to have them you know peg it inside just like that and then basically have it lean down it can also act as a shoulder blaster if you want and then of course these which i mentioned before are actually thrusters that go onto his back so you can actually put them over here or on the top depends on how you want the configuration either way okay it's okay to put them in any type of order so i'm gonna go ahead and leave mine down like that i'll have the bottom part like this or okay or if you like you can just flip them again and you can actually have the the shiny side there you go you know facing up which is actually okay as well so either way guys up to you on how you want to do your possibility on this figure i mean bose is oh actually okay they can actually prop up to the top as well we're going to go ahead and talk about his flexibility flexibility wise or articulation he can swivel he can raise okay and you guys can hear his ratchets right there okay he can also okay raise the other side as well all right swivel as well okay hands also his joints can almost just almost sort of you could say touch on head wise well let's take a look obviously you can see his face mask can be lifted up to reveal his face let's take a look at that beauty little beautiful face right there awesome guys look at that very menacing and kind of gives you that feeling how he looks like right now in that netflix version war on cybertron right bumblebee look at that face compared to bumblebee's face right now that we see in the new latest series on netflix that actually looks very similar so in any case leg wise okay you can see the legs legs can fully bend all the way just like this that's right they can actually stretch out as far as this goes from the ball joint the middle right here is actually die cast steel actually so here as well is actually a steel screw so when you actually you know put this figure around the reason why the joints are so tight is because again it has a very nice you know die cast steel frame inside you can actually feel the weight from this part majority of the other parts however though are they are just plastic so apart from a few other metal parts but most of it the majority of it is plastics there he is right there all right in his meltdown phase right there okay quite good if you ask me but in any case aspect i think as far as anything this guy has been built not just to look aesthetically nice but he is actually made engineered to be played with or to be used in any configuration you guys like to do on your office desk or at home on your favorite transformer shelf 
All right, guys, now here comes the transformation part. Now, I'm going to go ahead and show you how easy it would be transformed directly from what you saw from the box. Exactly when he came out of the box, his accessories were separated and he had his uh, battle, basically his battle mask on. So we're going to start from here. So the first thing you want to do is basically you're going to go down here at the hands and you're going to unhinge the hands. The hands will actually pull out just like this. So pull that out like that, guys. Now, you're going to rotate the hand over, guys, flipping over like this, and you're going to turn the hand a bit so that it's facing the upward direction and you'll see what I mean in a moment so basically I'm turning the hand and keep the hand palm open as well the hand doesn't close okay once you do that you're gonna go ahead and flip this little black piece right here to close the hand all right and then it's going to basically gently just rest over here on the side and then you're gonna go ahead and peg in the part so basically here all right if you guys take a look we're gonna peg it right here so there's a peg so that it keeps itself inside just like that and you're gonna do the same thing for the other side guys okay so that's the first thing we'll do hands again all right pull out okay there we go pull out and then we're gonna go ahead and swivel around okay got his nice little claw right there turn the hand so that it's facing that the palm is facing up all right so there we go palm is facing up and then you're gonna peg it inside again all right so look for that peg right here all right there we go now the next part we're going to do is we're going to go ahead oops sorry about the camera all right so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and start on the legs so for the legs part all you're going to do is here you're going to go ahead and pull out the legs okay like so so you're going to gently pull them out because they actually extend out like this guys if you take a look okay it's extend out like this all right afterwards what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and swivel all right let's go ahead and turn the leg around like so okay because they do swivel and then basically you're going to turn this part is going to turn like that all right and then this one's going to come out and there you go his hind legs right there and this is going to later is going to peg into this part right here so there is actually a hole right there if you see it you're going to go ahead and peg that in you're going to peg that in okay inside right here but you don't have to do it now wait until you almost got it fully transformed okay so the same thing here guys then the next part, let's go ahead and these flaps on the back have to open, guys. So this opens, all right, this opens, okay? And then you got two black flaps right here that also open, okay? Just like this, all right? So these two, pull these all the way back, okay? Just pull these all the way back. Now, his face mask needs to be flipped up all the way over, okay? So you're gonna flip the mask all the way back like that, all right? And then you're going to extend, you're gonna pull back his head and his tail, they kind of pull back like this, they actually extend out, if you can take a look. It's a swerving turn now, guys. So the head is gonna to go to the top, and this part, the tail, is gonna go at the opposite end. So now, you're gonna gently turn, okay? If you guys saw what I just did, turn, okay? To pull the tail part, let's see if I can get a better angle for you guys. All right, there we go. Turn, pull the tail part, and then move the head so that it's perpen it's basically aligned with the head in the front. And here, from the chest part, you're going to bring up the chest just like this. So we're gonna go ahead and push up the chest, okay? We're gonna push it up. So basically his head is now hidden. The little face mask is just like there. Now the next part is, you're gonna to have to bring out these little flaps right here. It's not necessary, to be honest, because you're not gonna really see under his head, but if you wanna fully transform him, you need to. But the thing is, you can't get your fingers under there, guys. You're not gonna be able to pull that out. Instead, you might use like a little screwdriver like I've got right here, and just pull, push that tab out like so. So his head is actually now pushed down, okay, pretty much. So his head is down after you've finished, you know, pulling up those flaps. You can see the flaps are just right here. It's not really necessary, but yeah, pretty much you need to push the flaps down, guys. Flaps down, all right. Okay, now from this part, once you completed the head part, okay, then you're gonna go ahead and you wanna fully extend this tail part down here, okay, and it's going to tab into, it's gonna tab into the little holes right here and this side, there's two tabs right there. So basically go ahead and slide it down, okay, and tab it in, okay? So then it should look like this. Afterwards, pull in and push in these two parts, sorry, to push in these two parts. And then of course, on the back, we're gonna go ahead and lock these two parts in the shoulder back in place. All right, there we go. And there we are. And make sure that's just, you know, tapped in. And then here's the part where you can go ahead and finish in the legs. 
So this part right here is going to tab in there. Now this, make sure you got his little joint fully extended when you pull them out as well though, guys, okay? Because, you know, basically that's how you want him when he's in tiger mode. He's going to have that full extension. All right, let me go ahead and make sure that's tabbed in again. Okay. All right, so there we go. Yeah. Okay, so you see basically from these points, points that I had pulled out right there, fully extended, okay? And then finished, you got his legs, his toes right here, toes right here, okay? You got this part right here for his front, and then you're gonna go ahead and attach the tail, all right? Go ahead and attach the tail right here where he had his shoulder part right there, so his tail's right there. This can actually swivel kind of looking like a, you know, scorpion stinger, or you can say like a wasp stinger. And then of course you got the thrusters, guys. Thrusters go in the back again. You can decide on which way you want to put them. I'll go ahead and face them up. So I'll face, you know, the metallic part. Okay, faced up. And there he is, guys, fully transformed all the way into tiger mode, ready to lie and pounce, guys. This is just so awesome, guys. You got to take a look just all the way from the detailing to the head, to the side arms, everything right there, man. He is just so cool. This is almost like you could say from the Beast Wars version of Cheetor, this is called Tiger. Of course, they call it the Wasp Tiger, you know, for its, you know, a special name. But, oh, hey, guys, we all know who this is deep down in heart, right? He can actually swivel his legs, okay? back and forth hind legs can actually be swiveled as well they can actually pivot and turn so you know he's got so much posability not to mention the thrusters okay the thrusters here can be readjusted so if you guys do not want the thrusters to be in the back like this look at the tabs the thrusters can be changed he actually can be thrustering down if you want so this guy definitely does the you know he definitely fits the category and of course you can take a look he's got these two you know miniature lasers inside again like i mentioned if they could have put some chrome around the teeth that would have been awesome or maybe put a little bit more detailing but i think overall it's okay the only really big flaw i definitely think for this is the fact that under here like i mentioned before in order to bring out these flaps you do need a tool you can't actually use your fingers you know to pull these two flaps out which actually cover you know his uh, bottom of his head and there he is now posed up in that wonderful pet position that we all know and love he's looking for a treat Alrighty there, little tiger wasp. Would you like a little treat? How about we give you something yummy? Let's give you some of this crimson. There you go. Mmm. Oh no, what happened? Speak to me! Kitty! 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 Are you okay? I can just tell you that the possibility again for his beast mode is just absolutely endless. Here he again. He's posed up with the two Cybertronian container boxes that I just recently acquired from getting the waistcoat series of the Optimus Prime from the Bumblebee movie. And so now starting off with a very small comparison in his transformation mode, here he is again transformed and side by side compared with, you could say, Freedom Leader Optimus Prime from the Bumblebee movie. That's for another comparison why he's in beast mode, we have him next to the MP26 Road Rage, the masterpiece version. As you can see, he does, you know, he does out tower the transformation size of the mp26 you can see already on the right side this bumblebee is actually almost okay he is definitely a lot shorter and this guy the wasp okay tiger is definitely double the size if not a little bit more and the next comparison we guys got is the red masterpiece version of red alert if you guys can actually have a look he is just only a tad bit taller than red alert obviously bulkiness wise okay red alert is a little bit more bulky but if you guys really want to know about you know overall heft and overall weight definitely the tiger wasp bumblebee version here is much heavier than the red alert guys oh my goodness and of course here you go guys you never thought this would happen here we have a comparison size between the hot toys version of thor the first for thor movie and of course the tiger wasp uh, bumblebee now you can definitely see from a 1/6 scale uh, figure made by hot toys bumblebee is probably half the the size of Thor. Hey Thor, Thor, what are you doing Thor? Put me on Nor down. What are you doing? Hey, 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 put the hammer down Thor. You want me to put the hammer down? Oh Thor, why couldn't you just put the hammer down? 
All right, guys, and for the final comparison, I know how we all love to see Optimus Prime riding Grimlock in the Transformers movie. Well, here we go. We've got the limited edition Rustic Version Studio Series Bumblebee. That's right, the Bumblebee riding Bumblebee, or of course, we gotta call it the Tiger Wasp version of Bumblebee. That is right. So this guy right here, he can actually pretty much fit right on top, and the scaling is actually quite good. I mean, this is like this is like going back to the He-Man phase where you saw He-Man running his, you know, Wild Kitty, which I kind of forgot what the name was. Let's go, Battle Cat. But look at that, guys. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. Can you take a look? This is just all so cool, guys. So definitely, like I said, if you're a fan of Bumblebee, why not go ahead and pick up this variation? Hey guys, thanks for watching the review. I hope you guys like it. In my opinion on this version of Bumblebee, I definitely think it's a must have for you guys who are Bumblebee fans. I think for a solid action figure phase, this guy definitely plays the part. You don't have to worry too much about, you know, loose ends here and there. A few problems, of course, obviously was the head part under the lion's, I mean, sorry, under the tiger's head, the head flaps, okay, that fold underneath. Okay, you need a tool to pull that out. You're not gonna use your fingers for sure, unless for, you know, some odd reason you have really one three inch finger nails and then of course the other part is the back tabs around his back okay those could have been a little bit better they're not that easy to tab in you actually have to use a little bit force and probably over time if you keep using it there might be a little bit of scratch but overall this i figure is a figure that you guys are used to posing okay for sure you're going to be playing with it you know adding it to your office collection whatnot this is definitely a figure for you know usability guys so you know other than the fact that it does look really cool i like the whole idea about him transforming into this type of tiger with you know a stinging tail it's definitely a really nice concept so in any case let me know what you guys think in the comments below guys please and also don't forget to subscribe and click that like button if you like this video and you guys want to see more of this similar content or whatever also, let me know in the comments below, guys. So, until then, I'm Mr. Stan, and I'll see you on the next video.